Okay, 7410 Ray here. We are going to embark on this project. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this good looking AR-15, uh, which is actually in what's called a multi-caliber. Um, and what we're going to do is, since I have variable uppers, I have already done this to this particular one right here, is we have removed the flash hider and installed what is called a muzzle compensator. Okay, so that has been taken care of. And on this particular upper, which is a 7.62 by 39, and I do have some uh, magazines uh, for it, so that will be taken care of on that. Now on this one right here, this is a 5.6 by 45, standard AR-15. We are going to have to remove the flash suppressor or flash hider and we will have to install a muzzle compensator or muzzle deflector hand grips are perfectly fine there's no pistol grips protruding underneath here and we are going to have to set this where we're going to want this to be set probably about right there we're going to have to get the Monster Man grip back here, and it's going to come up around here. There's a possibility that there may be enough gap that you can almost stick your thumb through, which almost might be a little bit, maybe not. But I think if I put it there, and we were to secure this so that it no longer is a telescoping sight or a stock, then we should be okay. Now, this particular one uh, is pretty much what we consider like an entry weapon so I'm going to probably set this somewhere around right there and then what we're going to end up doing is we will end up uh, removing the stock and more than likely riveting here here after we have installed this back on here we will probably rivet it in place so that it can no longer be used telescopically is that even a word telescopically either way and uh, so what will eventually happen is uh, then it will become a fixed stock and you will no longer be able to adjust it um, for length of pull anymore so it will be stuck in a position like let's say there with like rivets or like a rivet here and uh, I could probably just go legally with just one rivet um, maybe a rivet there and uh, maybe one on the other side or something but uh, also this is a DPMS stock and I do have some other least expensive stocks and I may try it with that one so we are going to remove our pistol grip and we're going to go with the Monster Man and it comes up and around here so the grip instead of being right there it's going to be at an angle the other thing we're going to do is we are going to remove the California penis but I mean the the uh, PP button or the um, California button release and basically what that is when you have a magazine in it in case somebody's watching up from California now this does have loaded ammo but the bolt is back so if I wanted to release this I would have to press this to get my magazine out after we do the modification of the pistol grip and modification to the stock and a modification to the flash hider to a compensator or a muzzle brake and I have a whole bunch of original uh, 1980, 1990s magazines um, and uh, 
we should be able to lose large capacity magazines. We said, well, why don't, why don't you just use those and undrill them? Well, here's what the law states. And uh, let's see here. In regards to high capacity magazines, since January 1st, 2000, California law, PC 12020 prohibits the manufacture importation or sale of large capacity magazines. Large capacity mean 10 or more. A large capacity magazine is defined as any ammunition feeding device with capabilities to accept more than 10 rounds. And then it says with several exceptions not related here. However, California does not ban the possession of large capacity magazines, period. Any large capacity magazine acquired before 2000 are legal to continue to possess, comma, use, comma, and even land, in quotations, when in the accessible vicinity. I looked up accessible vicinity. That is within your voice. That's it. So if you send it to some, lend it to somebody, and somebody says, "Oh, I borrowed it from so and so. Oh, he lives about three blocks away." No, if it be lent to you when in the accessible accessible vicinity, within your voice. However, they are only legal to use in featureless builds. Featureless is the ones with the bullet button and you can put I mean with the pistol grip and the bullet button and all that you can Cannot use those with it. You have to use only the tan it says so it says they are only legal to use in featureless builds Not fix mag builds Which are limited to 10 rounds pretty self-explanatory Okay guys. Well, that's where we're at. I have the magazines uh, and I also have a shitload of old AK-47 magazines. And uh, the only thing is I will not be able to use, because uh, I have the magazines, uh, and they don't work very good. I have the magazines in Arizona of when they first started making the AR uppers from AK-47s into 7.62 by 39 they had about three magazines and they're not really good like the new ones so uh, I'm gonna continue on this upper right here which is a 7.62 by 39 AR upper that bolts to this right here I will continue using 10 rounds on this and on this one right here which will be um, AR 565 by 45 or 223 sometimes I run through it um, on this right here I do have plenty of magazines that are pre-2000 um, so okay we'll see how it comes out so far uh, got rid of the flash hider got the muzzle brake and we will take one step at a time this is a 7410 ray uh, saying God bless America long live the Republic and remember guys freedom is not free